Grace and I are just here on the uh, Welland Canal. Uh, it's a beautiful spring day. It's the nicest uh, day for canoeing so far. Um, hopefully we get a little chance to explore something a little different today. We are, um, we're gonna try and do, um, I'm gonna call it a portage route um, here where we're starting at the Welland Rowing Center and uh, we're gonna go towards the active canal and um, from the active canal there's a the last bridge uh, before the canal I think there's a spot where we can actually walk over and actually get into the Welland River um, and then we will paddle into Welland through the Welland River and at the aqueduct we will um, portage back over into the recreational canal and uh, paddle back here. I think in total it's probably about uh, between 10 and 12 kilometers so it's nothing huge um, but it's just a beautiful day and we've not done this before and this is our backyard uh, and this is what we're going to do to enjoy this day. tied off here on the shore behind me and Grace and I are going to check out the Welland River. There it is. So as you can see, it's not a very big portage. take a look here see what we're gonna get into here oh, beauty perfect spot to put in right there it's a <laughs> deer trail here that's pretty cool. So I think we'll put in right here. Go ahead back. Had to make two trips on this portage because of the coffee. Oh. 
Welcome to the Welland River. Let's head back to Welland. You would almost, from here, you would almost think you were like in the back country, like we're in the middle of Welland and it's pretty cool. Um, I actually found a couple of ticks on me from the portage, but uh, yeah, downtown Welland, here we are. Um, got this little beaver run here. You can see the trail that goes back in. All the beaver chews on the trees. But yeah, no, we portage at the 406. We are actually headed towards that's Woodlawn Drive there. This big hill here, that's the berm behind Walmart and Welland. Okay, we shall continue. Well, I gotta say, for being in the Welland River here, this is a really nice little spot to take a couple hour paddle. I suggest this to anybody. Damn. Is that the guy that woke me up in the hammock the other morning? Sure sounds like him. Okay, so we're just uh, heading into downtown Welland here shortly, and uh, we're gonna put it, hit the shore at the Mare Island Park, which is right smack dab in downtown Welland there, and uh, yeah, we'll probably stop in the park, have a quick snack. Uh, Grace can, you know, relieve herself and uh, then we'll continue over. We'll put back in at the Welland uh, Recreational Canal and uh, head back to the rowing center. Okay, we've officially landed here in the park and we're gonna just portage over to the recreational canal which is on the other side of the park hopefully there's a nice place to put in over there and not too steep We're in the city, so we gotta keep the dog on a leash.
and I are walking up and down the recreational canal looking for a spot to put in. It's uh, really steep all the way along here. Just a little, even just a little spot that has a landing near the edge would be great, but uh, we'll keep looking here, see where we can put in. So Grace and I have gone up and down this canal trying to find a spot to put in. There really isn't anything. So we're gonna try here. I'm not sure what's gonna happen, but uh, we'll see. It's not waterproof. That's what I do all my video taping on. So I'm gonna get this close to where go we're going in and I'm putting my phone in a safe place because I don't want to get it wet. There's like one foothold right there and the rest is just smooth concrete at a very steep angle so pray for a good landing here. Yay! Well, that was a little sketchy, but fun. And uh, let's carry on. Head back to the car, down the canal, to where we started. Okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you can see behind me here, there is a retired lift bridge. That is Main Street in downtown uh, Welland. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, you know, it's a, it's a remarkable spot, you know? Like, I don't live up north, so I don't have access to, you know, nice lakes and things like that, or little spots. Um, I'm surrounded by the Great Lakes, which on a calm day is a fantastic place to uh, check out. Um, but they're, they're big and man, they, they can get pretty, pretty brutal at some, some points. So um, there's a, you know, a few spots in the area, like if you saw one of my other videos, there's Jordan Harbor, paddle there like literally almost all the time. It's just a nice little spot. Um, but this uh, recreational canal is just a, a beautiful spot. It's uh, really nice here. The, like the water is clear. It's, um, you know, it's surrounded by trees. Um, it's really well maintenanced. It's really well taken care of. Um, so it's, it's a really enjoyable spot. I've been paddling in this area now, probably about, um, oh, 15 years or so and um, have, have enjoyed many paddles in uh, this uh, watershed here. Um, yeah. So I encourage anybody in the Niagara region, if you want a kayak or a canoe or, or whatever, um, even a paddle board to um, come check out this spot. It's, uh, it's really lovely. Here, we're gonna go back to the car. I'm gonna put it into a little bit of time lapse so you can um, catch, uh, catch, catch the cruise all the way back to the car. that little time. 
time lapse there because I want to show you something. Okay, so the second I grabbed the camera, he went under. But this year has been exceptional along the canal and along the Niagara River. I've counted like literally a hundred loons. Um, it's been such a hard winter up north that the uh, loons, when they're migrating back, were held up here in the canal. And uh, one was literally just in front of the boat in the Welland Canal. And he went under as soon as I grabbed the camera. adventure there in the Welland Canal. Um, it was a just a beautiful day and uh, very enjoyable. Grace had a good time. Um, yeah, it's hard to believe that you can do that in downtown Welland. Um, I feel very fortunate um, having access to something like that. It literally is less than two minutes from the gear shed. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Um, Grace and I were packing up, we put the canoe on the roof and um, got her in the car and uh, we were a little bit tired so we were heading towards getting another coffee and we drove home and I took the canoe off the roof and I was going to get my backpack out of the uh, trunk and realized that I left my backpack at the boat launch. So I kind of freaked out a bit because obviously I've got everything in there, tripods, um, some gear, everything I need for the canoe. Um, we flew back and, um, well, let me show you what I found. I'm gonna say is people in Welland are honest. Got home, realized I left my backpack at the boat launch and somebody kindly picked it up and stashed it by this tree. Thank you to the kind person in Welland who did that. I really appreciate it. So I really appreciate the gentleman's honesty. I actually ran into him leaving the park. Um, he was with his children and his dog, so I didn't really want to ask to shoot video footage uh, to thank him. Uh, on the video, but I exchanged words with him and expressed my gratitude um, and just, yeah, just absolutely very grateful that, um, yeah, there's uh, people who, yeah, care and he, you know, he's told me he put the bag by the tree just to keep it safe because the, the, uh, the rowing club was closed. Um, so I really appreciate that. Thank you for your honesty. You know, there's, there's a lot of good people out there and uh, I was really honored today to actually meet one. So again, thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to you guys who follow along um, and allow me to express myself and you guys comment and leave kind words and um, it, it feels really good to get feedback from you guys. Um, I'm really starting to take the, uh, the video um, game a little bit more serious. Um, I just want to try to improve video skills, make it a more fluid and more enjoyable, creative experience when you're watching these videos. So thanks again for always tuning in. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, you know, I've got a lot of videos up. Um, a lot of them are old school. A lot of them are just kind of uh, point and shoot videos. Some of them are very long, but uh, you know, as I progress from here forward, uh, things, things will be enjoyable, um, a little bit more uh, cinematic. Uh, yeah, so please subscribe, like, uh, comment your comments are appreciated I really like interacting with you guys so stay tuned um, there's some uh,
possible good trips coming up. Um, so we'll see. Thanks again. Cheers. Get outside, breathe, enjoy your connection to nature. Cheers. <laughs>